Hello everyone. I welcome back you all to my channel The Math Explorer. In this particular video, we will understand how can we draw open balls in R2. So this video is all about sketching open balls in R2. So the question, first of all, I will write down the question. The question is this: draw open ball. B around point zero zero of radius one in R two under given metric. So we are provided with different metrics on R two, and we have to find out open ball about zero zero of radius one in the corresponding metric. So the very first metric that is given to us is this D one. Is metric which is induced by norm d1 induced by norm that is defined like this norm of x is equal to mod of x1 plus mod of x2 for x equal to x1 comma x2 belong to r2 okay so now let's try to draw open ball in this particular metric so the very first thing open ball about 0 0.00 of radius 1 is actually equal to set of all points x1 comma x2 belongs to r2 such that d of 0 0 and x1 comma x2 is less than 1 further we can calculate this as this is equal to set of all points x1 comma x2 belongs to r2 such that as per the definition this is going to be equal to mod of x1 plus mod of x2 less than 1 now based on the conditions of mod we will have four different inequalities here because mod of x1 can be either x1 or minus x1 similar condition is with mod of x2 mod of x2 can be either x2 or minus x2 so depending on that we will have four set of inequalities so let me write down all those so firstly if we'll say that mod of x1 is minus x1 then we will have and if mod of x2 is x2 minus x1 plus x2 less than 1 okay then uh, we will have this is equal to set of all points x1 comma x2 so this is set of all points x1 comma x2 belonging to r2 such that minus x1 plus x2 less than 1 then if mod of x1 is x1 mod of x2 is minus x2 then this inequality will turn out as x1 minus x2 is than 1 then if both the mods are positive then x1 plus x2 less than 1 and finally if mod of x1 is minus of x1 and mod of x2 is minus of x2 okay then less than 1 will be the fourth inequality so basically each and every inequality present here is nothing but a equation of line if we write it equal instead of less than so we'll try to plot these lines now so what we'll do firstly suppose i'm talking about minus x1 plus x2 equal to 1 instead of less than 1 i will take equal to 1 so graphically we can just do it like this suppose i'm taking I want to x1 is on the x-axis y x2 is on the y-axis so if I take x1 x1 equal to 0 then x2 equal to 1 so this point right and if I take x2 equal to 0 then x1 is minus 1 so this point right so this particular line can be drawn like this so this is uh, 
this is the first line that is minus x1 plus x2 equal to 1 we want less than so we'll take the portion below the line okay then secondly we will have x1 minus x2 less than 1 so here x1 minus x2 equal to 1 i will take if we'll take x1 as 0 x2 is minus 1 okay so this point minus 1 and if i'll take x1 as 0 then x2 is minus 1 if i take x2 equal to 0 then x1 is 1 so this is x2 equal to 0 implies x1 is 1 so this point so we will have another line this line and this line is nothing but x1 minus x2 equal to 1 we want less than so we'll take the portion above the line okay then nextly we have x1 plus x2 less than 1 so x1 plus x2 less than 1 so we'll have x1 plus x2 equal to 1 okay so instead of less than we can take uh, x1 plus x2 equal to 1 okay if i'll take x1 equal to 0 x2 is 1 x2 equal to 0 implies x1 is 1 so we have these two points so this line is like this okay so that is x1 plus x2 equal to 1 okay and a final line that is minus x1 minus x2 less than 1 so minus x1 minus x2 equal to 1 we will choose if we we'll take x1 equal to 0 x2 is minus 1 if x2 is 0 then x1 is minus 1 so these two points so we can draw this line like this okay so that is minus x1 minus x2 equal to 1 now as per the inequality is given to us so we will have the portion exactly between the lines so this is open ball excluding the boundaries okay okay because the points outside these lines will not satisfy these inequalities okay so for that we need to take the points below these lines and above the lines which are given here these two lines we have to take points above the line and for these two lines we have to take the point below the lines okay so this is the open ball okay so this is nothing but a required open ball that is b00 of radius 1 now since this plot is understood I will just show you this plot using how can you draw this plot using Mathematica so in Mathematica if we'll choose this this is this plot looks like this okay so we can define this particular function as taxi cab distance that is uh, x1 y1 and 0 0 so absolute value of x1 plus absolute value of y1 and then we can draw graphics as we know that uh, the vertices of this particular polygon are nothing but 1 0 then 0 1 then minus 1 0 and 0 minus 1 so we have taken those vertices here and we have drawn a polygon so exactly the portion which is shaded here in light red color is nothing but a required open ball in this particular example now let's move to the next example so we will change the metric now instead of taxi cab distance we will take another metric so suppose uh, secondly we have a metric that is simple Euclidean matrix so D2 is the Euclidean matrix so this is very simple metric right so this is usual distance between R2 so that is B001 is actually equal to set of all points x1 comma x2 belonging to R2 such that d of 0 0 and x1 x2 should be less than 1 but as per the definition of Euclidean distance this is equal to set of all points x1 x2 belong to R2 such that square root of x1 square plus x2 square less than 1 so if we'll square the both sides this is simply the set of all points x1 x2 belongs to r2 such that x1 square 
plus x2 square less than 1 and this is nothing but a equation of circle right with center at origin and radius 1 but we have to take interior part of circle because the points are to be less than 1 so we cannot take boundary points so definitely the plot will be like this so suppose this is your graph and this is circle right so this is center 0 0 radius 1 so we have to take the interior part so we can shade that portion like this okay so interior part of this circle that will be your open wall in this particular situation and uh, radius of this open ball will be 1 okay so this point is 1 this point is 1 this point is minus 1 this point is minus 1 right so again we can shade the particular open ball in a mathematica and uh, i'll show you how can we plot this so for that we have to take uh, graphics light blue and we have to form a disk of around 0 0 of radius 1 so we are taking access to aspect ratio 1 and all these things are defined here plot range and axis origin is 0 0 axis label is x and y so accordingly you can see here that uh, open ball in r2 under euclidean metric is nothing but a interior of circle which is shaded here in light blue color so that is open ball in r2 under euclidean metric around 0 0 of radius 1 now let's move to the next example and we'll try to understand open wall in another metric here so let me just write down that metric now so now we have third metric given to us and uh, that is say d1 which is again induced by the norm norm say norm infinity which is uh, defined as uh, say norm of x where x is a point x1 x2 is equal to maximum of mod of x1 comma mod of x2 right so we have to plot open ball first of all we'll do it using our definition b001 is equal to set of all points x1 comma x2 belong to r2 such that this particular norm of x and minus 0 because we have taken center at 0 0 so that should be less than 1 so i will just write directly the definition here so instead of writing this we can directly write that uh, norm of x1 comma x2 infinity should be less than 1 and uh, this is nothing but set of all points x1 x2 belongs to r2 such a that maximum of mo mod of x1 and mod of x2 should be less than 1 and that is equal to x1 or x2 belongs to r2 now the condition is that maximum of these two numbers should be less than 1 so it's quite obvious that none of this number can be greater than 1 or equal to 1 so both of these numbers should be less than 1 then only maximum will be less than 1 so the condition turns out as mod of x1 should be less than 1 and mod of x2 should also be less than 1 okay so both should be less than 1 so we can easily say that if mod of x1 is less than 1 this condition further can be modified as uh, since mod of x1 is less than 1 x1 lies between minus 1 and 1 so minus 1 is less than x1 x1 is less than 1 since mod of x2 is less than 1 x2 also lies between minus 1 and 1 so minus 1 less than x2 less than 1 okay so we will have here suppose this is our plot this is minus 1 this is 1 this is minus 1 this is 1 so to draw plot uh, we can easily tell that we will have a first of all we will have this line right which passes through 1 and parallel to x axis again line passes through minus 1 and parallel to x axis then we have one line passing through minus 1 and parallel to y axis we have another line passing through 1 and parallel to y axis and then we have an interior of this that will be the answer of open ball so open ball is nothing but interior of the square because we have four vertices and we want maximum should be less than one so we have to take interior of this dotted square okay so this is nothing but open ball in this particular metric again we 
can find this metric open ball using mathematical let me show you how can you do it in mathematical so in mathematical we can do it like this so basically we have four vertices minus one minus one one minus one 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 and minus one one so we have taken a polygon of those four vertices and we have defined plot range axis origin is zero zero labels are x and y so easily you can say that gra shaded portion with uh, which is shaded here with light green color is nothing but a required open ball in our condition okay so like this we can sketch open balls in r2 under different metrics okay and uh, also we can plot them in mathematica as well as we have seen in this particular video so with this i stop here for more further videos and metric spaces stay tuned thank you